There's this website making $140,000 a month. That's almost $2 million a year. And I want to break down their SEO strategy because they rely heavily on organic traffic to grow their business and brand. And in specific, programmatic SEO. So I want to break down what programmatic SEO is and how this site is taking advantage of it to rake in almost $2 million every single year to their product. And of course, I also want to break down what their product is. So without further ado, let's just jump inside my computer and I'll show you exactly what they're doing and how they're doing it. Okay, so first of all, let's have a look at what their product is before we break down any SEO strategy. So the site is called Nomad List and the product is simple. It is a directory for digital nomads to understand what the best places are in the world for their needs. So if we scroll down here, for example, we can see that we have some popular places here. For example, Bangkok in Thailand, and we can see that there's an overall rating, the cost, internet, fun. Then, of course, you can add filters, for example, places in North America, for example, ones that are considered safe, ones that have fast internet, ones that have a fun ambience. And as you can see, and this will break down this later on, the URL starts changing. But essentially, this is a product, and if you click any of these listings, you can see a bit more in detail what this place has to offer. And this is very valuable if you're a digital nomad. This is the only place online that you get access to all this data to make an informed decision of what the next place is that you're going to visit or live in. So that's the product. Pretty cool. And in my opinion, it brings in a ton of value to the Nomad community. Now I want to show you their stats. So if we just copy the domain and yes, we can use Ahrefs, but that's quite expensive. So let's use a more affordable alternative. So there we go. We're using the campaigns feature inside of Vetted. Now, as we can see here, and I want to go over a overview of the site, at the moment, January of 2023, they're ranking for 40,000 plus keywords. Now, these are keywords that this domain ranks for on the top 50 search results. Okay. Now, what's important to look at here are the top keywords, meaning the keywords that bring in the most traffic to their site. For example, the keyword Nomad has a search volume of almost 100,000 every single month, and they're ranking eighth for it. So this keyword is bringing in a ton of traffic to the site, more or less. Uh, 1200 clicks every single month. Now they rank for a plethora of different keywords related to the nomad life, nomad, nomad list, that's a brand name, digital nomad, nomad list, again, that's a branded term. But if we start scrolling through these pages, we can start seeing some different keywords popping off. Now, Chiang Mai, for example, Taipei, these are all locations. We see again, digital nomads, nomads, but what you're gonna see here is that they essentially rank for two types of keywords. The first one, are branded keywords and keywords that are in accordance to their brand. So digital nomads, nomads, all that. But then they rank for a ton of keywords that are location based. Now we can see here, best place to live, best country to live in. Now these are still ranking the homepage for this keyword. But if we keep on going down, we can start seeing their SEO strategy, their programmatic SEO strategy popping off. And again, I'll, I'll go deeper into this, into this as the video goes. But as you can see here, best cities to live in North America. Now, this is a long tail keyword, right? But it still has a, a, a volume of 270 searches per month, which they're ranking number one for and get 44 clicks per month. Again, these are all average numbers. Now, this one right here, this is super interesting. This is in line with their programmatic SEO strategy, least racist states. Now, this is for the US, but if we open this up right here and go to their site, we can see that there are some filters pre-clicked. So nomadlist.com forward slash least racist places in the US. How is this happening? Because you have US selected and low in racism. If for example, we remove low in racism and just add again, let's do Europe for example. No, let's actually, let's do the same. Let's do US, let's do filters, let's do safe. We can see that the URL changes for two, sorry, safest places in the United States. If we remove safe and add internet, it goes to places in the United States with fast internet. If we remove fast internet and do, for example, under $3,000 a month, it says affordable places in the United States. Now, I think you can see what I'm trying to get at. Dependent on the filters you choose, the URL changes and is optimized for certain phrases people search for. And this is how they're able to rank for these least racist, cities, least racist states. If we keep on scrolling right, we can see best cities in North America. Again, we can go more. Uh, let's see here best places to live in Asia. These again are keywords with still some or what of a high search volume, but the gem here is in the longer tail keywords that no one is optimizing for. No one's optimizing for, um, for example, 
fast internet places in the United States, right? Or even if we select multiple uh, of these tags, affordable places in the United States with fast internet, right? This is quite an interesting one, hottest girls on Tinder. Uh, but if we keep moving on, for example, best place to live in the world, I guess we can do a bit more and go a bit further on. Let's see here, cost of living in Mexico City. Now we're still ramping up the data and ramping up this campaigns feature on here. So we're not able to yet pick up all the keywords they're ranking for on all the pages. So I'll have to go to Ahrefs and continue this here. So if we go to Ahrefs and click on top pages down here and then scroll down, we can see that the this page right here, least racist places in the United States. Again, this page has this identifier and this unique URL because it has certain um, filters clicked, right? This page is ranking for 115 keywords. Let's see what they are. Least racist states, uh, least racist cities in America, uh, least racist cities in the United States. So for all these keywords, there are essentially variations of the, uh, of the combinations of United States, least racist. This page is ranking for a ton of these keywords. Now, if you add all this up, this might seem like nobody searched for these keywords. And yeah, they have low search volumes, right? 50, 50, 60, not that, not that much, right? But if you add all those up, this page right here, receives around 100, uh, 104 users every single month. Now that's a lot. Now imagine you take this and do the same for least racist places in Europe, in Asia, in Lisbon. Uh, you can even do this for neighborhoods, right? And essentially that's what you're doing with the filters right here, which is super, super interesting. Now something else that's very interesting is that if you open some of these up, you'll be able to see that these are fully optimized. For example, if I click here on this plugin, by the way, this is a free plugin, you can get it for free, I'll leave a link in the description. You can see, of course, that the meta title for this page is least racist places in the United States. And the meta description, of course, has the keywords here sprinkled inside of it. Then the headings, of course, an H1, that is least racist places in the US, and then the H2s don't really matter on here. But the thing about this page is that it is fully optimized. So it's not just about generating these custom URLs based on the filters. It's also about optimizing the pages based on the filters you select. And this is how they're able to rank for all of these interesting keywords, all these multiple combinations, which is so, so powerful. If you go here to the overview, I can, we can see that they're getting almost 50,000 in organic traffic every single month from a high of uh, 50,000, or I guess a high of 61,000, um, a couple of years ago. Interesting to see that during COVID, of course, it went down because people weren't traveling, but now it ramped back up. And I'm assuming now because we're in somewhat of a recession, this is going down a bit, but still almost 50,000 users every single month. It's super, super powerful. And that's all organic traffic, right? That's 100% organic traffic. And so that's the power of this programmatic SEO strategy, essentially generating custom URLs based on and custom pages based on the filters someone selects. And after that, of course, optimizing these pages the max you can. It's quite an interesting strategy. It's quite brilliant. Uh, there's not a lot of sites that can do something like this. You have, of course, to have a sort of a directory style site to be able to have people select filters. Now, of course, you can do programmatic SEO in any single site, but you need data points, right? Uh, for example, if we were to do programmatic SEO to a plumber site, it would be much harder, right? Because there's not many data points on a plumber site or any other local business site as, for example, in one of these uh, directory-based sites. So yeah, I just wanted to leave you with that. I uh, wanted to let you know what they're doing. Quite interesting, quite a powerful strategy, but keep in mind that this isn't possible with every single site. But if you have sort of a directory style site, this is possible and quite interesting. And uh, you can easily do this with, if you have a developer on your team, you can easily ask them to do it. Uh, it's quite easy, I guess, for them. I think the most difficult part here is not the SEO optimization of the pages. It's not having a developer do the programmatic style pages for you. I think the most difficult part here is having a business or a site that can allow for this type of SEO. And yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. Uh, I guess I'll just plug Vetted since you're here. It's been a long time uh, if you're watching the video to the end. If you ever need to hire a pre-vetted SEO expert, hop on to vetted, vetted.com with three Ts. You can hire experts for their skills via these productized services, or you can also hire them for their time. If you go to their profile, you can book consulting calls with them. Here we go. We can just set up a consulting call with Bradley, for example, and pick his brain about anything related to SEO, which is pretty cool. That's it. Thank you so much. And I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.